Cruz wins here. Tickets still available. Box office right up here on the second floor for those folks joining us. And we still have great seats available. Again, get them here while you're at Caesars Windsor. The second floor box office is available. We'd like to say hello to those folks joining us on the stream. We are here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Caesars Windsor for Bellator 64. The official weigh-ins begin now. Doors open. Local time, 6 o'clock tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Our first fight goes in the cage and goes live on Spike.com. At 8 o'clock, we go live on MTV2 and Epix2. And then, upon the completion of that program, well, we'll go back to Spike.com to finish up the final fights of the evening. Again, tickets are still available. If you're here on site, second floor box office, and you can always just log on to Ticketmaster and pick up your tickets there. Bellator 64 features the start of the Bellator Season 6 Bantamweight quarterfinal round, the first of two semifinals in the featherweight tournament, and will feature the headline, the welterweight world title, as the Season 5 welterweight tournament winner, Douglas Lima, he, he has earned his world title shot, and he'll get it tomorrow as he faces the undefeated Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. It all takes place tomorrow night right here at Bellator 64. Our weigh-ins today and tomorrow night's action are all under the official sanctioning body, the supervision of the Office of Athletics Commissioner. Overseeing commissioner is Ken Hayashi. I'm Bellator Cage announcer Michael Williams, and joining me as always on stage for the official weigh-ins and tomorrow night inside the cage, the Bellator ladies, Mercedes and Jade. Joining us here momentarily, the CEO and chairman of Bellator Fighting Championships, Mr. Bjorn Rebning. And now, to bring the fighters to the scale, if you'd please join me in welcoming fight commentator for MTV2 and FX2, Mr. Jimmy Smith. Thank you so much. It is so great to be back in Canada. Greatest fight fans in the world. Let's get it started. Nothing worse than a stage full of dehydrated fighters. We're going to get it over with as fast as we can. Our first preliminary bout out of Port Dover, Ontario. Welcome Taylor King Solomon. Record of three and three. This fight will be at 155 pounds, a lightweight fight, a one-pound allowance, so we're shooting for 156. Official weight is 155.6 .6 for Taylor Solomon. And his opponent out of Livonia, Michigan, Jason Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Undefeated in his young career, three wins, no defeats. This fight, three five-minute rounds, the lightweight division in Bellator has been spectacular. Official weight is? 155.6. 155.6 for Jason Fisher. We'll have both fighters square off in front. This will be our first preliminary bout. Taylor Solomon versus Jason Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him. This next, this next fight will kick off our Spike.com and Bellator.com portion of the show. Be sure to check it out online. The first fight at welterweight, 170 pounds. Please welcome from South Glen Falls, New York, Matt Secor, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently some New Yorkers here. That's cool. Undefeated 3-0. and oh. Once again, a welterweight fight, 170 pounds, one pound allowance. Means you can weigh in as high as 171 pounds. It's that last pound that's so hard. Exactly 170 pounds for Matt Secor, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Nordine Taleb, ladies and gentlemen. An outstanding record, 6-1 and one out of the TriStar Gym. A 
looking to join our stacked roster at 170 pounds. The title on the line tomorrow night. We'll have the champ and the challenger weigh in later, 170 pounds. But right now, the official weight for Nordine Taleb is... 171 pounds on the dot. This will kick off our Spike.com section of the show. Do not miss it. Matt Secor versus Nordine Taleb, ladies and gentlemen. Our next fight at featherweight, 145 pounds, one of the most dynamic and exciting divisions in all of Bellator. First up to the scale from Rosemount, Montana, Mike Richmond. An outstanding record, 11 wins, only one defeat. 145 pounds, one pound allowance means they can weigh in up to 146. We have the quarterfinals, one of our, or, I'm sorry, one of our semifinals of the featherweight division tomorrow night. And this featherweight weighs in at? 145. 145 on the dot for Mike Richmond, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent from London, Ontario, Canada, please welcome Chris Hordesky. A Bellator veteran with an outstanding record, 18-3-1. His entire career spent at 155 pounds, now making the drop down to 145. It's a shark tank, but Chris Hordesky is a big shark himself. I like that. That's good. I'm like, yeah, creative. This guy has fought everyone, everywhere. Continuing his career tomorrow night in Bellator making his debut at 145 pounds. Official weight is? 145.8. 145.8 for Chris Hordesky. Finally fighting in his own backyard, sick of traveling. This fight is going to be a war, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Richmond versus Chris Hordesky. Our next fight, another welterweight fight at 170 pounds. Please welcome to the scale from Windsor, Ontario, Josh Tavern, ladies and gentlemen. A record of two and two. That crowd noise helps you out when you're fighting, trust me. Be that loud the night of the fight. Official weight is 170.6 170 for Josh Tavern, ladies and gentlemen. His opponent from Chatham, Ontario, Chad LaPriest, welcome him to the scale. 4 and 0 oh, undefeated in his young career. This fight scheduled for 3 5 minute rounds. We're stacking them full of welterweights. Like I said, the belt on the line tomorrow night. We will lay, weigh in the champ and the challenger later. But right now, it is Chad LaPriest. Official weight is? 169.8. 169.8 for Chad LaPriest. Have our two fighters square off. Give them a big hand. Josh Tavern versus Chad LaPriest, ladies and gentlemen. This next fight at a catch weight of 160 pounds. Please welcome to the scale from Windsor, Ontario, Kyle Prepolek, ladies and gentlemen. That's some loud whistlers in Canada. That's nice. I like that. Official weight is... 158.6 for Kyle Prepolek, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent, also from Windsor, Ontario, Lance Snow, ladies and gentlemen. This is for hometown bragging rights, both fighters from Windsor. 
scheduled for three five-minute rounds at 160 pounds. I'm so used to fighters undressing behind me that it's not awkward anymore. Official weight is... 159 pounds for Lance Snow, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't even take his socks off. Let's give it up for him. Kyle Prebelik versus Lance Snow, ladies and gentlemen. This next fight, a middleweight bout at 185 pounds. First to the scale from Toronto, Elias Theodoro. Undefeated 3-0 in his young career. Our middleweight tournament really shaping up this season in Bellator. If you didn't see Brian Rogers' highlight knockout, please check it out on YouTube. It's got, what, like half a million viewers already. Official weight for Elias Theodoro is... 185.6. 185.6 for Elias Theodoro. And his opponent from Marine City, Michigan, Rich Liktawa, ladies and gentlemen. Record of two and two. Official weight is... 192.2, got some weight to cut, my friend. And those are always the hardest ones. Let's give it up for him, Elias Theodoro and Rich Liktawa, ladies and gentlemen. Now these fights will begin the TV portion of our show, the main card. You can see us on Epix 2 and MTV 2. First up, out of the red corner, Rodrigo Lima, ladies and gentlemen. A bantamweight fighter, 135 pounds. Undefeated 10-0 out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Official weight is... 136 pounds for Rodrigo Lima. Undefeated 10 and 0, but a big step up in competition. What are we going to see tomorrow night? Show. A big show. A war. I don't need a translation for that. We're going to see a war tomorrow night. Right over there, my man. And his opponent, all the way out of Tokyo, Japan. Please welcome Hiroshi Nakamura, ladies and gentlemen. An outstanding record 14, 5, and 4. A veteran of the Shuto organization, always aggressive. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Official weight is 135.8 for Hiroshi Nakamura. Oh, no problem. It's always a better interview when they're not in their underwear throwing that out there it's always a special fight when we see a top brazilian fighter take on a top japanese fighter are we going to see a special fight tomorrow night yes definitely tomorrow it's going to be a special fight oh, do not miss it the undefeated brazilian taking on hiroshi nakamura Rodrigo Lima versus Hiroshi Nakamura, ladies and gentlemen. Our next fight also at bantamweight, 135 pounds. Please welcome from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Travis Marks. An outstanding record, 18 wins, only three losses. Trading out of the Jackson Fighting Academy. 
Everyone knows the trainers there, that team. Our champion, Zach McCoskey, will defending his 135-pound belt versus Eduardo Dantes in our upcoming show, Do Not Miss It. All these guys fighting for a chance to t get in the tournament and take on the champ. Travis Marks now stepping up to the scale. Official weight is... 135.2 for Travis Marks. Travis, step on up, my man. Travis, not only making your Bellator debut, but making it against one of the top Bantamweights in the world from Japan. What are your thoughts heading into this fight? I'm here to win. I love that. Short interviews. They make my job so much easier, man. Face off now. I love it. It gets this done so much faster. And his opponent all the way from Tokyo, Japan, Masakatsu Ueda, ladies and gentlemen. Record of 15, 1, and 2. Victories over such fighters as Rumina Sato and Hoyler Gracie on his resume. One of the top bantamweights in the world. Official weight is... 135.8. 135.8 for Masakatsu Ueda. coming all the way from Tokyo, fighting in Canada in front of some of the best fans in the world. How does he feel about making his Bellator debut? Uh, Japan, I'm from Japan, I'm from Japan, I'm from Japan, I'm from Japan. I'm very excited to be here. I love it. So simple. Have both fighters square off in the front. This is going to be a great fight. They talk with their fists, ladies and gentlemen. Travis Marks and Masakatsu Ueda. Two of the best in the world at 135 pounds. And now, on to our featherweight tournament semi-final, the Battle of Brazil. Right now, welcome to the scale, Popo Bezeja. An outstanding record, 13 and 1. Defeated Kenny Foster in the quarterfinal round via rear naked choke. Originally from Brazil, now fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the colorful underwear. That's a sign of confidence, folks. 146 even for Popo Bezeja. And of course, he's going to cover up the shorts to talk to me. That's cool. Come on up, Popo. Popo, I know you're fighting a guy you have a lot of respect for in Marlon Sandro, but are we going to see that respect in the cage tonight, or are you going to go at him? He's my friend, but I'm so happy and so excited for our fight tomorrow night. And his opponent all the way from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Please welcome to the stage, Marlon Sandro. One of the top featherweights in the world. A record of 21 wins, only three losses. A finalist in our Summer Series Featherweight Tournament. Loss of the champion, Pat Curran, looking to get a rematch with the champ. Official weight is... 146 even. 146 even for Marlon Sandro. Marlon, a very tough semifinal against a young, hungry fighter. What do you have in store for him tomorrow night? Hey, man, he's in my brother, bro. This is a business. This is his job, man. Let's look at the fight tomorrow night. They are friends, but not tomorrow night in the cage. Do not miss this fight. Popo Bezeja versus Marlon Sandro. And now, 
the welterweight title fight we have all been waiting for. First to the scale, the challenger out of Atlanta, Georgia, Douglas, the Phenom Lima. An outstanding record, 21 wins, only four defeats. Two highlight knockouts to get here over Chris Lozano and Ben Saunders to win our welterweight tournament. Now getting his shot at the champion, Ben Askren. Brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Official weight is... 170 pounds even. 170 even for Douglas Lima. You've waited so long for this opportunity. You got to an extremely tough welterweight tournament to get here. Are you going to make Ben Askren pay for all that effort tomorrow night? Definitely. I'm happy to be here in Canada again. Uh, man, I'm very excited, very prepared, and it's going to be a great fight. Thanks, you guys, for coming, and can't wait until Friday. And his opponent, the champion out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Ben Askren. Undefeated 9-0, oh, a member of the 2008 Olympic wrestling team. Official weight is... 169.6. 169.6 for Ben Askren. Ben, you said that Douglas Lima is the biggest challenge of your career. How does a champion rise to that challenge tomorrow night? I've been looking for challenges my whole life, and uh, Douglas is no different, but uh, I met a challenge, and uh, I knock him down. This is it, the welterweight title bout, Douglas Lima versus Ben Askren, ladies and gentlemen. They both want the gold, but only one will walk away with it. Thank you so much, fans. We'll see you after the fight tomorrow night. Thank you, Canada. Jimmy Smith, thank you very much. As the fighters get set, now the next step tomorrow night, Bellator Fighting Championship 64. A reminder, if you're here on site at the wonderful, the beautiful Caesars Windsor, second floor box office right up top, tickets are still available. It takes place tomorrow night at the world-class 5,000-seat venue, the Coliseum, right on site here at Caesars Windsor. So get your tickets now. Welterweight world title, bantamweight quarters kick off and the first of our two featherweight semis all tomorrow night. Doors open at six o'clock. We'll see you at the Coliseum tomorrow night, six o'clock. Doors open, first fight, seven o'clock for Bellator Fighting Championships, 64.